we're doing a recreating Central City album cover but with our own creative touch. So as you can see, my brother is just uh, very, very strong and some nice and bit of shades and a cap. That's Central City kind of style, kind of vibe. I mean, it's something obviously more of a street, grind, urban kind of vibe. We try to recreate something in our own style. basic shots, all comes down to the post-production editing side of it, so we're going to pull it out of Photoshop, see how we can be different with the creative style. I've got a few things in mind, with the shooting here before, I'll know that, uh, how the environment would look, the certain colour way, certain edit. So if you don't know, Central Sea is literally living under a rock, the sky went viral, he's from London, and he's the best rapper out there in England, and his lyrics and the way he creates his, uh, his music, it's kind of different compared to other rappers. So I want you to recreate this out of passion, because I saw his album cover that I like, the street kind of vibe, the street art, grind look. So I'll let me screen this my brother as a cool look as well. Central Sea kind of vibe, and I think we should do a cinematic video of the Central Sea song. It would be only right to do that, so let's go and do that right now. Said I was a one hit wonder, I took that shot and I followed it through. Don't worry about hollering, chips get rich, they'll switch and holler at you. Sat in a trap, turn one into two, but that ain't what I wanted to do. The fame got a bit too much sometimes, fan page trying to follow the boom. Fan page trying to follow my pups. The fans love me and I love them too, cause Sen Chain better than none. Lo last time I let that slide, but this time I ain't gonna let that run. They made a diss track, that shit was too wet to get a response <laughs> It's sad cause I love my hood where I'm from But that place ain't where I belong I was supposed to shoot a time lapse of me editing this Screen record it and put it part of the video But I completely forgot to do that, I got straight to the edit So I'm gonna share the album cover with you guys That's what I'm saying, before I, before I share it with you guys I went crazy with the edit Not crazy but I, went, I got a bit of creative with it So I'm gonna share that with you guys now I went towards that photo manipulation kind of style Which what I normally do on my Instagram if you check it out Similar to that, but this is obviously for album cover. As you can see, I went for the photo manipulation kind of style. And Central C's new album is called 23, so I did that in there. I used the Trap Star font, which is what he usually does. And I think he's, he's actually clubbed with them as well. So that's why I used that font, and that's for his new album. I also added this green light kind of thing. It looks, I, can't, I think I searched light bug PNG, something like that. And that came up, then I added these. I duplicated the layer, I added two of these to create more of that effect, to have more depth in the photo. And I added some blue butterflies at the top just to create that fantasy kind of effect. And I also blurred out the background more. I masked out the background from the actual subject and I added motion blur to it so it separates the subject from the background. That's pretty much it with the album cover. If you don't want me to go into full detail on how to edit this and create an actual tutorial video where I go into detail on making this, comment down below. I also got my brother involved who wanted to have a goal with creating an album cover. These are the album covers he created. We went for that basic aesthetic road kind of style with uh, just some PNGs and also some, I think I added some faded light to it, some blue light, I don't know what, and the gradient, some gradient kind of look. This is good if you're going for that minimalistic look that some rappers go for. It'd be good for, let's say, portraying a certain type of emotion to an album which is simplistic or minimalistic, then that'd be good to use for that kind of style. Central C, if you're seeing this, this album cover, if you want to clap, hit me up. I know you're obviously quite big, you got loads of emails, you got loads of DMs. I just thought make a YouTube video, create an album cover, create my art, be, have passion behind it. So if you've seen this, let me know, hit me up. At the end of every video, I'm going to share a life hack or a tip that's working for me. So something called the compound effect is when you improve 1% every day. So I'm creating a YouTube video every single day for this month. And I'm also improving on little habits like I'm training every day, or I'm cleaning my room for once, or I'm just, I don't know, editing, working on projects, having a plan for the whole day, or setting tasks for the day and ticking them off one by one. Only you can do your goals and complete the tasks that you set for yourself, no one else is going to do it for you. So we've come to the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It might not be the same style as I normally do and it was a bit rushed so the quality isn't all there but I'm still going to post it. Because you have to realise you need to fail on purpose in life. That way you have no expectation of what you do, whatever video you create, you're not going to procrastinate. You might shoot 30, 40 videos at once and you might be like, you know what, these videos didn't come out good. You face failure and look failure in the eye and accept it. Fail on purpose. Fail on purpose and you'll have no expectations and you'll create content that will go with the flow that will just be natural uh, that's the end of the video I'll see you guys in the next one which is going to be about it's the Nikon D3200 worth it in 2022